think definitely when it comes to being in Olympic Games, you sort of you sort of need that support from the Irish sports fans, and I think you know almost being Irish and involved in the sport that we're it's almost an Irish trait of getting behind, you know, whoever's competing. Like it, I know even whenever I was attracted, I'd watch all sports and, I, and I'd be that bit more interested if there was an Irish person there. And I think Olympics is one of those things where, you know, you can be tweaked on social media. And, and I think for me, I, I definitely responded to that. And then I got motivation from knowing, you know, people didn't know who you were as a person, but they, they wanted you to do well because you're wearing the Irish green. Um, take sacrifice or maybe even then sometimes we think of it as choice um, but yes yeah, it's it's, a, it's almost a full-time job and the Olympics is sometimes regarded as am amateurs only but I don't know if there's too many amateurs um, competing in the Olympics anymore it's definitely everyone who's there who I know is a full-time athlete and supported and it's definitely more of a job than it is a you know a hobby or a passion and, and I guess for me it was I swam you know five mornings a week um, I biked probably six times and ran six times so when you look at it like that it's probably three sessions a day on average and it's probably you know biking especially is, is takes the most hours because you can be out there adventuring for like three to five hours at a time so I guess on average it's about 32 hours a week so it's almost a normal, <laughs> normal working week um, but I can tell you right now just from my own personal experience it's, it's definitely worth it.